great place and it's free. I mean, not many things are free nowadays, right? Walking underneath it. Looks pretty impressive. Kia ora people, welcome to the channel. Today we're outside Te Papa Museum behind me. Now, Te Papa Museum's been around since 1998. Now, the great thing about Te Papa Museum, it is free to go check out Te Papa Museum. And it's got a lot of amazing exhibitions. It's a great place. I've been there a lot of times over the years. This will be the first time I've been back to Te Papa Museum since I've been in Australia. So today, we're gonna switch up and let's go do something different. Let's go and check out the museum and show you people what you can do for free here in Wellington. So vamos, let's go, let's go. Let's go see what's cracking in here. We're trying something different today. Today is Sunday and I see a lot of, uh, a lot of people here. Let's go upstairs. Yes, yes people, it's exciting. We are here in Papa Museum. And one of the coolest things about this place, it's free. So whenever you're in Wellington, make sure you check out Te Papa Museum, right here on the waterfront. So. Okay. And nice um, Maori carving. For those people watching this from around the world, this is uh, indigenous people of New Zealand, of Aotearoa. That's the Māori name for New Zealand, Aotearoa. And here. So. Waharoa. You know, the great thing about doing this YouTube, uh, YouTube stuff is uh, the people that you meet on your journey. So today, I just ran into this lovely couple uh, all the way from the Philippines. Hello guys, como esta? Okay, la. Mabuti. okay, mabuti, mabuti. Yeah. Now, what are you guys doing today at Te Papa Museum? I'll just, we'll just stall around, uh, we'll just look around, look around Wellington. Um, we've been at the, what is, what they call it, the shoreline, yeah. Okay, on the harbour front here? Yeah, yeah, and then we saw this uh, museum and then there's just, Go around here and yeah. look some pretty cool stuff here. So how you how you liking Wally? I do I like uh, love it. It's crowded. I really really we compared really to love it. Place, uh, yeah. Compared crowded. to Auckland, yeah, I think yeah. I, we we feel so much people around here other than shopping. Auckland. Yeah, and oh, we nice. do a lot of shopping. So. Okay, well, I let you guys go and do your thing and enjoy the day. But first, before yeah. I go. Please tell the people your channel. My man here's got a new oh, yeah, uh, YouTube yeah, yeah. channel. So tell, tell the people, dro uh, drop your, your, your channel name. Yeah, uh, if you guys are uh, watching YouTube, um, please subscribe to my channel, Kent Del Fierro. I am Kent Del Fierro, yeah. And please subscribe to my, my man, Cause I Can. Yeah, right here. So please, sa mga gatano, mga bisaya, o mga, at mga Tagalog, please subscribe to my man's channel, Cause I Can. Okay, salama. Salama. Thank you so abote, much. Abote. And what's your name? Janian. Janian. And what's your name again, brother? Kent. 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 That's what's yeah. up. Okay. Pretty amazing here. And really um, live, what you call um, the scale of this, uh, of this piece here. And the lifelike, it's amazing. The ANSAC soldiers digging in the trenches. Yeah. As you know, the history of uh, ANSAC, New Zealand, during the First World War in Turkey, there's a Turkish flag, a lot of young men, you know, a lot of 
lot of young men lost their lives in this war. So that's why they got the Anzac Day in New Zealand. Trench warfare. Up in the hills here. It's pretty impressive, eh? effort and work just to put this together. Yeah, it's pretty pretty out of the stuff here. I mean, a lot of young people lost their lives in this war in Gallipoli. So this is what they commemorate every year. Anzac Day is from this war in Gallipoli. You know, Australian and New Zealand armed forces lost a lot of uh, lives there in Gallipoli. In Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> so, so see on the floor it's got the timeline. Got the timeline here on the floor. Pretty out of it. So let's follow our way around. few people in here so it's just oh it's getting dark and well it's pretty mind-blowing just watching this exhibition here uh, look they got life-size um, bunkers here as you can see show you the bunkers I guess it's like where the soldiers used to sleep or something or maybe an officer's uh, quarters let's make a call make sure you subscribe to the channel Stay in the boss lane. Out of it. our nature. Cool museum. Now over here what we have here is Tangata Olemoana. So basically translates people of the ocean. Tangata Olemoana. So I think they're referring to us Pacific people. It's a canoe here. This is how our people used to move around back in the day. The great navigators of the Pacific Ocean used to roam the Pacific Ocean. Yes. And those canoes are pretty amazing. What our people used to use to travel the Pacific Ocean, navigate their way around the biggest water system on the planet, the Pacific Ocean using only the stars, no GPS. So you people, the historians, give, give our ancestors their dues.
because how can you people discover lands in the Pacific Ocean that's already had people on it? I don't know. <laughs> you go figure. Wow, look at this uh, Marquesas statue here. Marquesas, look at all the tats. Amazing, right? Now, I used to see that this used to be at the old museum up uh, on Taranaki Street. On top of Taranaki Street, the museum there, this used to be there. And I used to see it when I used to be, used to be a young fella. This used to inspire me of wanting to get tattoos. Hmm. I used to see this all the time. Pacific uh, inspired fashion. And there's Samoan Kosaki, Taubo's uh, outfit. It's a long canoe, Māori canoe. Look how beautiful this is. You can imagine this coming down river, a lot of warriors on it. That would have been a sight, right? So. This is, this is a native canoe native to uh, Aotearoa, Māori canoe, the indigenous people of this land, over here. Te, te Puni Aro Aro. Okay. Now my Raki te puni aro aro o mata ao. Ao. So it's got here in Māori and it's got in English. It says the experience, oh, it says experience the groundbreaking artworks of mata ao collective. Four Waine Māori artists who have worked together for the last decade so on so this is the exhibition it's pretty huge just to show you how big it is I'm underneath you can see that on top of the ceiling and I'm walking underneath it looks pretty impressive and what's this, this is a blue Okay, it just says no touching. But it's pretty out of it. Very impressive. See, we're doing something new on the channel today. We're checking out exhibitions, we're checking out the stuff in Te Papa Museum, and this is pretty huge. Look at that. Type of exhibition. Pretty, pretty impressive. So, I'm just walking around showing you people what's up over here in Te Papa Museum. Cow cow number two. So yeah. see weaved made out of um ropes, you know, those I don't know what you call them. I just say ropes. 
but so that's something new for the channel going to this uh, museum checking out exhibitions so I can show you people at home and if you're ever in Wellington make sure you check uh, check out the Papa Museum it's definitely a place to go see highly recommended and I approved from cause I can been into the Papa Museum had a look around and it's definitely a place that you must do when you come to Wellington great place and it's free I mean not many things are free nowadays right but this place it's an awesome place to come and uh, look around learn a bit of history look at some exhibition um, see just outside the museum you got this uh, place here so that's outside just right outside the museum a bit of a forest walk happening over there what a day great day spending the day here at the museum and um, being able to show you people a few exhibitions and what's happening here in the museum in Wellington Te Papa Museum and this is just outside of it got this little bit of a nature walk here so you can see on my left a little bit of a nature walk pretty dope right look at this got to go for a little nature walk oh yes what's happening here oh it's a tunnel system okay look at this this venture in here I feel like a crocodile man by crikey see and this is just outside to Papa Museum, the little nature walk area. Ah, look at this. Got a duck in the water. Oh, there's a few of them. A stream. Look at that. Pretty dope, right? And there's sort of a walk out there. And that's the museum here, you can see. So you can walk from there outside one of these one of the floors and you would land right here in nature a little bit of nature walk here right here wow how great is that just outside the museum a little bit of a, a walk see a lot of nice beautiful trees and people have been to New Zealand understand that great thing about New Zealand walking in nature in New Zealand there is no snakes, crocodiles, and all those, all those creatures that you mainly find in Australia. That's a great thing about here. Look at that. Your man's out here in nature. So this is how I'm spending my Sunday afternoon in, at Papa Museum, giving you people content. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's a bit different from what we usually do, but hey, that's what the channel's about. People, places, and culture. That's it. Wow. So, they got a cafe here. So yes, after all that, I'm walking around in the museum. It's time to get some coffee at the cafe at the museum. So let's taste the coffee at the museum, see if it's up to standard. See if the Papa Museum is is any good. So you get the our coffee here. Okay. Okay, thank you. So we just got our coffee here. Here you go. That's the coffee there. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So just got our coffee We're outside the Papa Museum. Taking a break from walking around. And time for coffee. So let's have a chat. That's what's up. Let's see. So, yes, it's coffee time. Just got our coffee. 
Let me, oh wait. Let me stir it, stir the coffee. So yes, just got our coffee. Pretty good. Coffee for Wellington is always good no matter where you go. It's really hard to get a bad coffee here in the city. Um, this coffee, I'd say 7.5 out of uh, 10, which is good. Probably an 8, but um, great coffee.